Let's see, what can I watch for today? Hi, my name is Makro. I'm here existing to share an experience where you are humiliated, hated, underestimated, in a world where no one believes in me. I shall conquer. Zeth is the king of boxing in their school. He is loved by everyone, the most favored boxer. Yes, praise me, for I am undefeatable in boxing. Boxing? I'm also interested in that sport. Maybe we could spar. You know, for fun. <laughs> you? Look at you! I am twice the size of you. You'll never defeat me. You will never know unless we try. Anything is possible. You are nothing. So what? You can't even handle a single push? You want to be humiliated by the campus? Okay, fight me. Makurt lost the battle. The audience cheered immensely as their favorite boxer, Zeth the Almighty, won. Makurt collapsed inside the ring. Then he woke up. Beside him is his friend. I heard you sparred Almighty Zeth. He, he had a nickname. I got defeated by a punch. I know, right? You shouldn't have angered him. I just wanted to have a friendly match. He doesn't have to be so cranky. I agree. But still, it was dangerous. Sorry to worry you guys. I just needed to be stronger. You do. For now, take a break, okay? You still have more room to grow. We will be cheering for you, Kurt. Come on, let's eat outside. It's my treat, Chum. Awesome. You guys are the best. Breaking news. Davao City is in a severe outbreak of COVID-19 cases based on the metrics recorded by the government. We advise you to stay inside your homes and we encourage you to sanitize. Seriously? As this city will be going through a lockdown. Well, I guess this is an opportunity to surprise everyone, once face-to-face -face classes are back. <laughs> I could barely make the bag swing. Ah, I'm too weak. Sorry I'm late. Thank you for letting me in, sir. It's okay. Alright class, since this is our first time experiencing a new way of education, how was your vacation staying at home? It was fun, sir. My family and I spent our vacation at home. We played board games, having fun, no family bonding. Oh, sana all. Okay, what about the others? If I may, I spent my vacation working out, and I'm so passionate about my boxing career. What? When will you give up? You can't even defeat my boyfriend. Right? <laughs> Stay at your lane, Twig. Haha, <laughs> she just called her a Twig? Accurate. <laughs> Class. It is not funny to belittle just because someone else is better than them. You should know better. You aren't children anymore. People your age should know the difference between bullying and joking. I will show you. I will show everyone.
then I'll take your title. It's time for a rematch. The second law of motion created by Newton is based upon its acceleration, which is directly proportional to the net force applied and inversely proportional to the mass of the object. In short, more acceleration equals to more net force but less mass. On the other hand, less acceleration is less net force but more mass. Furthermore, acceleration can be solved by this formula. Acceleration is equal to net force over mass and net force is equal to mass multiplied by acceleration. Based on the first training scene of McHurt, he could barely make the bag move due to the weight of the bag and his net force. Let's say the force he applied to the bag is 5 Newton with a mass of 3 kilograms. To calculate the acceleration of the bag, we apply the formula presented earlier. Acceleration is equal to net force over mass, where the net force is 5 Newton and the mass is 3 kilograms. Let us solve! 5 newton divided by 3 kilograms is equals to 1.67 meters per second squared, which clarifies the power of his punch at that scene. The last training scene where he threw a punch that blew away his training bag is definitely evident that his power is greater than before. For instance, let's say the bag traveled 10 meters per second squared with the same weight of 3 kilograms. To calculate, we multiply 10 and 3 to solve for the net force. In conclusion, the net force of his fist was 13 newton. It clarifies that his power was 6 times stronger than before. This concludes the Newton's second law of motion. Let me check the news. For the headline, one car involved in a car accident near Einstein Street. A passenger flew out of the window. Rocket launching became a talk of town. And the Philippine soccer team going to the finals. Good morning, Philippines! Maayong butag, Tabaw! This is... Houston on the Motion, your everyday news update. Our time now is 7.30 p.m. For our news today, one car involved in a car accident near Einstein Street. A passenger flew out of the window. Berlin. We are now currently here at Einstein Street after one passenger flew out of the window because of a car accident. The passenger allegedly did not wear a seatbelt that could have stopped him from the sudden stop. According to the first law of Newton's law of motion, an object at rest will remain at rest unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Therefore, as the passenger remained at rest on his seat, the sudden force of stopping of the car due to collision with the wall caused this passenger to fly out of the window. For further explanations, I am here with Ms. Nina, Ms. Rubea, and Ms. Jessa to ask about the accident. They are the survivors of the accident that just recently occurred. Miss Nina, where were you supposed to be going? We were actually going home from our outing when the car suddenly stopped 
that caused us to move forward aggressively. So why did Mr. Jun flew out the window? He forgot to buckle up his seatbelt because he was busy talking to us. So this means that the three of you wore seatbelts? Yes. yes. So Miss Vea, what can you say or what is the difference when you are wearing a seatbelt and not? Seatbelts are important, especially when you're traveling, because there will be a huge possibility that the vehicle will stop. So in order to avoid accidents like flying out of the window, do not forget to wear seatbelts. Thank you for that Miss Nina, Miss Jess, and Miss Rovea. This is Darling Kate Abing reporting your everyday news update. Thank you Darlene. Next news. Rocket launching in Washington, D.C., now a talk of town. How does it work? Let's have Brian for the report. Good day, Philippines. News soon on the motion, your daily news update. We are live at Washington, D.C. for the launching of the new West Invented rocket. We'd also get an exclusive shot of the rocket launching and also question how the concept of Newton's first law applies towards the rocket launching. This massive advancement of technology is a delight to those who are fanatics in science and technology. We are going to interview the CEO himself of NASA, Mr. Riscosho, regarding some people's questions about the rocket launching and the safety of its pilots. Mr. Biscocho, how does this new rocket work exactly? This rocket functions by ejecting hot exhaust that acts in the same way that basketballs do. The gas molecules in the exhaust don't weigh much individually, but escape the rocket's, rocket's nozzle quickly, giving them a lot of velocity. As a result, with the same overall ohm, the rocket moves in the opposite direction the exhaust, by riding the rocket. The people inside will experience the first law of motion. They will feel the momentum, momentum and gravity change inside the rocket ship. But they won't feel the speed of Mach 1 that equivalent to the speed of sound in order to travel, travel outside in space. In, in simple explanation, the rocket moves because there is an external force acting upon it. Thus it moves. There is no force acting upon it then or will stay stagnant or immovable. Back to you, Thank you, Brian. Next news. The Philippine soccer team qualified for finals. News will be reported by Lawrence. Lawrence? We are now here at Galileo Sports Complex and the final game just ended a few minutes ago. We can see now that the Philippine soccer team members are so happy with the results while their fans are constantly cheering for them. The winning shot is when Labustra of the American team kicked the ball towards their center back to Nebrosa, yet the force wasn't enough. So the captain of the Philippine team, Moreno, got a chance to cross over and kick the ball onto the goal. It was just like on the first law of motion. Newton's first law asserts that if a body is at rest or traveling at a constant speed in a straight line, it will remain at rest or continue to move in a straight line at a constant speed until acted on by a force. It's just that Tenebrosa has kicked the ball at the last force and it traveled at a constant speed and Moreno got a chance to put a higher force onto it. I'm here with the team captain of the Philippine soccer team, Mr. Adrian Moreno. Good day and congratulations! How are you? Thanks for asking, Lawrence. I am feeling better. So how did you feel when you were announced as the winner? Oh, it actually took a few seconds before it sinks into me. I am just grateful and happy, you know that. The moment that they announced the winner, I just froze for a moment while my teammates were gradually shouting and cheering. It's great and it's amazing. Those times that we were away from our family, those times that we need to go wake up early and do trainings, and those efforts of our home management and family, all of it paid off. What can you say about your game? It was a nerve cracking because it's the finals yet and it's fun at the same time. 
I just want to share that I am fan of science and I applied the first law of motion. It's just that I got a chance to execute it while the opponent did not kick. I just applied a lot more force that it made the ball move towards the goal. Thanks to Einstein and Galileo. Thank you for that, Mr. Adrian. Congratulations again to our Philippine soccer team. Good luck on the finals. Back to you, Kristen. Thank you, Lawrence. That was spectacular news for today. Right, Chen Li? Indeed. Yes, it is. This is once again Kristen Jana Bula and Shanley Nicole Bana for Houston on the Motion. Your everyday news update. Have a great day, everyone! Hey, please buckle your seatbelt. Why? Is it really necessary? Yes, of course. It will help us avoid hitting ourselves, especially our head in front inside a car when there is a collision. When there is a collision, the seatbelt will lock in place, so there will be an unbalanced force acting on the person, the reason why they continue forward. Oh, really? I didn't know it was necessary. This also represents Newton's first law of motion, right? You're right. Seat belts are found inside the vehicle for its unique purpose. You should never forget this reminder and spread it to others because this single reminder can save hundreds of lives. Thank you for reminding me. I learned something from you. Thank you again. Interesting indeed. Let's see what's else. This is a work of fiction. Any names, characters, businesses, places, events, and incidents are either the product of author's imagination or used in a fictitious manner. Any resemblance to an actual person, living or dead, or an actual event is purely coincidental. Another morning to spend studying. Ugh. Gotta work hard to get a stable job in the future. Ugh. Roy is a smart student who stands out from his peers because studying brings him life and excitement. Every creature, event, or should I say everything, piques his interest that prompt him to ask numerous questions. Good morning, Klaus. How's your day? It's fine, but Mom. That's good to hear. For this day, we're going to discuss about Newton's third law of motion. But before I start, any idea about what Newton's third law of motion is all about? Yes, Miss Altea. Newton's third law of motion states that when two bodies interact, they apply forces to one another that are equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. Yes, that's correct. For instance, when you jump, your legs apply the force to the ground, and the ground applies an equal and opposite reaction force that propels you into the air. So basically, in new third law of motion, for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Yes, Mr. Roy, do you have a question? Yes, Mom. I would like to ask, does this Newton's third law of motion also applies to the birds flying in the sky? Or a ball bouncing back? Yes, it also does. When birds flap their wings, 
they exert a force on the air and the air gives back an equal and opposite reaction to that which enables the birds to fly. For a bouncing ball, it also does. When a ball performs the action of bouncing in the ground, the ground exerts an equal and opposite reaction to the ball which is why the ball is bouncing back. Oh, that is very cool, but how is that possible? I mean, how did Newton discover that law of motion? <laughs> I love your curiosity. For this day, I'm going to tell you the history of how Newton discovered the third law of motion. The story of Newton's falling apple is mainly legend that he saw an apple fall then it may have given him the idea of figuring out gravity. The esteemed scientist only discovered the laws of motion after many years of studying math, physics, optics, and astronomy. Aha! I knew it! There are no isolated forces that each force exists one of equal magnitude and opposite direction acts against it. For example, the act of walking and running. As your feet exert force down and backward, you are propelled forward and upward. This is known as the ground reaction force. Also, a person is unable to walk on the ground without the ground's fictional force. Therefore, this is my third law of motion, the law of action and reaction. In the 1680s, Isaac Newton proposed the three laws that explain how inertia, acceleration, and reaction influence the motion of objects. Along with Newton's law of gravitation, these laws form the basis of classical physics and change the world of the physics forever. Amazing! Newton's third law of motion changed the world of physics and because of this discovery, many questions have been answered and new technologies were invented. I agree ma'am. This wire boat moves forward when the paddle which caused the water to be pushed backward. Newton's third law of motion can also be observed when we pull the trigger of a gun. Because when we pull the trigger, the gun recoils in proportion to its mass, while the bullet advances due to the bursting gunpowder. So, the third law also applies when we step or jump up on the boat. It is because both are applying an equal force. That when the step or jump out of the boat, the boat moves backward for us to go forward. Oh! So the Newton's third law of motion applies the way fish and frogs swim. It is because fish use their tails and frogs use their legs to push the water backward for them to propel. All of the realization and are correct. I am happy to know that you are interested in this lesson and are attentively listening to what I discuss. So, who wants to volunteer and share what you have learned in this discussion? Yes, Mr. Roy? I have learned that when there is an action, there will be a reaction. In every little thing that we do, we are applying Newton's third law of motion. And lastly, I learned that in every force that we exert, there will always be an equal but opposite reaction. Thank you for listening class, and I am glad that you have learned a lot. Hope that you have a nice day ahead. Bye!